Three suspects in California are accused of running a fake police department and put under arrest. One of the suspects even works for California Attorney General Kamala Harris. I'm 48 Hours Crime Siders, Michelle Sagona. The ruse began in January when the San Diego Sheriff's Office says various police chiefs in Southern California began to receive letters from the Masonic Fraternal Police Department. The letter said specifically that David Henry was now the chief and he was requesting a meeting with each agency. According to a press release, Captain Roosevelt Johnson of the Santa Clarita Valley Sheriff's Office actually accepted a meeting with Henry, Tonette Hayes, and Brandon Keel. They showed up dressed in uniforms and said they were setting up shop in the area. All three were arrested and now charged with impersonating a peace officer. The group claims to have jurisdiction in 33 states and in Mexico. They allegedly believe they're descendants of the Knights Templar and that their group was founded 3,000 years ago. But medieval scholars say their claims are incorrect and that the Knights Templar was founded during the 12th century Crusades in Jerusalem. Their mission was to protect pilgrims visiting the Holy City and they answer to the Pope. Some historians speculate that they were tasked with finding precious religious relics during the wars. The legend of the Knights has been featured in popular Hollywood films like The Da Vinci Code and National Treasure. As for the suspects, police say after serving a search warrant, they uncovered an array of badges, weapons, uniforms, and even police-type cars and equipment at two different residences. A next-door neighbor who referred to David Henry and Tonette Hayes as a couple spoke out to KCBS. I always see them with, the uni with their uniform, so I thought they were part of any chief department. I didn't know it was something fake or... On the website, the group describes how they are different from police departments. The site says, quote, we are born into this organization. Our bloodlines go deeper than an application. This is more than a job. It's an obligation. Investigators have not determined a purpose or a motive for the organization. Authorities also believe others may be involved, and they're accepting your tips to lead them to other suspects. Keep tracking this bizarre case at our website, and for 